Yeah, like it's it's been a long time for you in, in your UCF career. It's your last game. Just mm -hmm. Kind of, what are your thoughts uh, as you go through practice, preparing for one more? What's kind of going through your mind in a week like this? Yeah, I mean, it's you. You go back and you think about your journey up to this point. You kind of reflect even on your days in Pop Warner when you're like a little kid starting your journey in football, and now up to this point, it's reflecting on UCF as a whole and just taking everything um, for what it is and not taking any time for granted and just being thankful for the entire process and I don't know just getting the ability to spend time with teammates coaches and practicing on the practice field tomorrow will be the last practice on that practice field so it's it's special and it's it's special uh, bowl and I'm extremely excited that we're getting the opportunity to play in the Gasparilla Bowl. Alan do you think that when you take the field on Friday that There'll be some emotions there, obviously, being in your, in your last college game there. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think that um, you obviously can't let it affect how you're going to play. I think afterwards is, is really when it's going to kind of set in in terms of being at the last college football game. Before the before senior night, you kind of feel that as well. So it's, it's not going to be an uh, uh, unfamiliar emotion, I feel like, for a lot of the seniors that are going to be playing their last game because they've experienced it on uh, senior senior day. Alec, you mentioned, you know, thinking back about your career and stuff like that. I want to focus a little bit specifically on this being UCF's first year in the Big 12 mm -hmm. and your name being on the proverbial black here to four mm -hmm. uh, with that. How much is that part of what you're thinking and part of what you cherish uh, in your career here? Yeah, it's it's extremely special and that's something that I'll always tell my friends, family, and my kids about in the future, my grandkids, is talking about this experience when we see uh, UCF going far and beyond even stuff that we're accomplishing now because I mean this this university is set up to just defy everybody's expectations and coming back to be a part of this team this year specifically was a big motivation coming back as well as um, training getting stronger and putting more film on to potentially go to the NFL so that's kind of those were kind of the two main thought processes when coming back so it's definitely a big deal. You talked about your career. You are a bit of a Gasparilla Bowl legend now. This is your third time in it. Um, you posted the highlight of the Florida game. Mm -hmm. What's it mean to play in this game specifically? Yeah, I think that um, yeah, it means a lot to a lot of the local kids, especially because a lot of your family gets to come. Also, you get to um, spend Christmas with your family, which is extremely special as well. And going to play in, in Ray J is extremely cool. And this year, since we didn't play UCF or USF, this is this is our opportunity to go play there. And I mean, you even think about stuff like two years ago, Jake Hescock, one of my close buddies, his last game was playing Florida in the Gasparilla Bowl. So that's that's like another thing that I've been thinking about a little bit. So the Gasparilla Bowl is really special, and I think that when we get to play in our home away from home, it's it's a really cool thing. Yeah, they kind of expand on that. You know, obviously they have someone made a banner on it was UCF or a fan. It's a Tampa's hometown team too. And, you know, UCF has played in that stadium every year since 2018. I think every year you've been at UCF, you've played in that stadium. So do you kind of feel like that is a home away from home? You know there's going to be a ton of fans there. They have a lot that's already sold out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that it's just sometimes when you go to a, a neutral site game or you go to an away game, it's kind of unfamiliar. You've never seen the stadium before. You'll go the day before and kind of walk through the stadium to see what it's all like to get adjusted to the environment. But that's a place that all of us have been there multiple times. So. It's it's a place that I feel like we're comfortable and that we're very we're very used to the environment and you we know what to expect when going to a stadium like that. You guys are going to play Georgia Tech. Uh, what do you know about Georgia Tech and, and their defense and what stands out to you about that team? Yeah, I mean they're just they're they're a solid team. They're disciplined and I think they're going to be a great challenge. Uh, I mean the one of the things that I saw like throughout the season was when they beat Miami at the at the end of the game, which. That just shows you that they're resilient. They they don't quit. They play till the till the end of the game. And we we got to play them last year, which is really cool. And now uh, both teams will be motivated for this game for sure. Since we we got the um, we beat them last year, and now they're I think I don't know if they've been in a bowl game for a, a long time. So this will be a, a big deal. And then also with the Georgia Leary ties both ways will be pretty cool as well. Alec, obviously injuries are part of the game. You know, any season. 21, there was a lot of injuries that year. He healed up and looked good in that Gasparilla Bowl. You mentioned also the emotion between getting a little bit more time to heal and leading up to that bowl game since the last game was played, and then also all that motion. How's practice has been going? And do you have that feeling that this team's the healthiest it's been since that final snap of the regular season? 
Yeah, our team's definitely um, definitely healthy. All the guys are moving around fast. I mean, we're playing physical in practice, and I think that you can see the intent um, when we're out there on the practice field, whether we're doing individual drills to try to just work on our technique or we're in team against each other and we're pushing each, other, uh, pushing each other, keeping each other up, not trying to knock each other down to the ground, but we're playing physical and trying to help each other improve. Alec, what would it mean to end this season with a victory against Georgia Tech? It would guarantee a winning season in your first year in the mm -hmm. Big 12. What would that mean to you and the team? Yeah, it, it, would, be a, it would be a huge deal. And uh, Coach Malzahn has talked about always uh, carrying the momentum into the next season. For example, the like when we beat Florida in the Gasparilla Bowl, it was kind of that momentum we carried into the off season, and then we went to a conference championship the next year. It's really important to end your season on a win, not only for the seniors but also to set up the next season as well, and kind of keep that um, that those gears turning, kind of. I know a lot of guys don't like to look back on a season until after the season's over, but when you look, if we get a chance, when you look at this Big 12 season. What stood out to you about it? I mean, what, what were some of the highlights for you that really kind of maybe in your mind were some of the things that stood out, I guess, about the Big 12? Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that uh, a lot of games this year we've showed that we have a lot of talented players and that we do belong here. There's obviously been some frustrating moments, some, some games where we, we kind of gave it up, honestly. And that's kind of the moments where you honestly get to see what your team's made of. And although you don't, We'd obviously love to win those games. I think that we saw in those losses that we're tight as a team and that um, we're never going to quit regardless of what happens the previous week and that we're just going to step forward and just just play hard regardless of what the circumstances are. Alec, I know you're a humble guy, but in that same vein, if the UCF thing was asked about a Alec, a Alec Baller play, of course the Holy Holler would come to the minds of many. Um, is that also your favorite play in your time here, or is there something else that you'd be like, hey, fans, check this one out, too. I thought this one was pretty good. Um, I mean, I guess so. I, th I think that would probably be probably be the one that I'd pull up if someone was like, hey, pull up a clip of your of your career. But there's there's a lot of, honestly, like blocks that I really like. The, um, Cincinnati last year when we when RJ had ran in that touchdown, I had a cutoff block on the backside, and I got the I kind of got the end uh, pinned, and then RJ ran through there. So that would probably be another play that I'd pull up as well. But yeah, I mean, I, that play's pretty awesome, and that that play I'll have on my phone saved to be able to pull up to show somebody whenever they ask. Obviously, the focus is on winning this game and ending your career. But what's next for Alec Hall? Are you going to give a shot to the NFL? You know, beyond football, do you know kind of what you want to do with your life? Have you kind of thought about what happens next? Well, yeah, I mean, I have another year of eligibility, so I will see. Is that a joke? No, I actually do. Oh, actually no. Do. Oh, yeah. oh wow. yeah. really? Medical. I have a medical one. Yeah. So. So how many years from that? Be your that would be seven. So oh, we'll I, see. I thought it was. I'm sorry. I was a joke because. <laughs> no, I do though. But yeah, I'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So, I mean, you might be thinking about pulling a Coops as well, but how cool has it been to play with your brother if this is it? Oh, I mean, it's it's been extremely special to have the opportunity to see Max every single day and just, I don't know, It's I feel like your team becomes your family and when your, one of your family members is able to be a part of that every single day and I'm, you wake up in the morning and just so many memories that we'll be able to talk about for the rest of our lives and we're extremely thankful to UCF and everyone involved, all the fans and everyone that's made UCF such a special place that we've been able to spend this time together. So if you do have one year left, I mean, are you giving thought to coming back for another season? Is that a, a real consideration? Or? Um, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll talk about it after the bowl game, but yeah. It's, I mean, there's definitely been a little bit of thought, yes. But When you look at you know a lot of teams across the country, a lot of players are either opting out of bowl games and stuff like that. It seems like you guys are a pretty cohesive unit. You haven't had a lot of guys, I don't think any of them, announced they're going to opt out. What does that say about this team that you guys want to finish out uh, and, and, and do it all together as, as a brotherhood? Yeah, I think it speaks to the culture that uh, Coach Malzahn has built and the brotherhood that um, all, the, all the team members uh, all our teammates have uh, made that we want to play for each other and just end on the right note and let the record books show what our team is um, in reality and show that we want to end it with a winning season and just play play one more time with each other you know because there's only this team although UCF will play every year this team this is our last game that we'll ever play together so it's going to be really special. Last thing for me but what was your favorite moment of this season up to this point? Hmm, let me think. There were a lot of good moments. 
Um, I mean, probably Oklahoma State. I feel like that was a pretty awesome game, and the the rainy environment was really cool. Just, I mean, you fall like you fall on the ground, you're sliding through the like you're sliding like five yards. I think that the Cure Bowl, the Cure Bowl got to experience that a little bit last week. So I'd probably say Oklahoma State was probably the most most fun game that um, and best moment afterwards when we were all celebrating the locker room and his brothers. Also, awesome. 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 Awesome.